Um, hi everyone, my name's Phoebe and I'm a second year student at UC. I go to University of Melbourne studying a Bachelor of Design and I'm from Wagga Wagga in regional New South Wales. And hi everyone, I'm Lauren. Um, I'm a first year at UC and I'm studying a Bachelor of Science. I'm from regional Victoria in Rosedale. So we're just out the front of our lovely college. Um, so if Lauren just wants to give a show of the roundabout and the front of college, it's a little bit of a gloomy day today, but still very lovely outside of the college. This is our new Roper wing. And yeah, we'll just go inside the reception now. And I think Lauren's gonna talk a little bit about the fog system. Awesome. So we all get, um, we all get a fog that lets us come in here. Um, reception's normally locked um, and they're open during um, office hours, so like nine to five and the fob lets you come in at any time of day as well. Yeah. And then we have our lovely receptionist. Sometimes we have our youth workers and one of our lovely RTs as well. Um, and they're usually at the desk and you can also contact them on the duty phone out of hours if you need your room or anything. And then it's our lovely receptionist, our head of college, Jennifer. Hello, Lauren and Phoebe. Um, and a warm welcome to all of you who joined our virtual tour of UC today. Now, of course, we're really sorry we can't welcome you in person, but we have our great tour guides who will show you all around and tell you about life at UC. Now, of course, the college is looking a little different. Um, we still have our wonderful um, facilities, our heritage rooms, our gardens and all our new facilities, but we are managing them carefully to comply with the restrictions um, under the lockdown. But importantly, um, all the warmth and friendliness of our community is still here. Um, with our wonderful students and we're doing everything we can to make sure that they have a really great college experience. So I do hope that you'll enjoy your tour today of the college um, and that we might welcome you to UC in 2022. Thanks again, Lauren and Phoebe. Thank you. Bye. So we're going to go back through reception now. Um, and we're going to go down into one of our heritage wings. So this goes into what is called Ellis Wing. And as you can see on the wall here, there's heaps of photos of previous cohorts at University College. Um, so University College was founded in 1937, and it originally was called University Women's College until in the 70s when it became co-ed. And then we just have a lot of heritage photos of people who have been a part of our community over the years. And then we're going to go down to the heritage room down the end. So this is our heritage room. Now this room is sometimes used for tutorials. It's used to do things like yoga and things like that. And it also used to be UC's first dining hall. So keep that in mind when we get to the end of the tour because our new dining hall is very, very different and a lot more modern than this one. And then if we come around, if we have a look down this way, this is Ellis Wing. Um, we have um, a lot of rooms down here in this corridor with communal bathrooms. And this is the staircase that goes up to the suite wing here. Lovely. And then we're gonna go back down this corridor and we're gonna go and have a look at our well-being room. So this is our student wellbeing centre. Um, we usually have our lovely um, student counsellor, student wellbeing coordinator, Katie, um, working here. And then this is her office. So students can book in with her to make appointments, but we're going to throw to our head of students, um, our dean of students, Liz, and she's going to have a bit of a chat about that for you guys. Thanks, Lauren and Phoebe. Um, that's great. So you've just had a look at our um, student wellbeing centre. And that um, is where Katie works. So Katie's part of my team. Um, I'm the Dean of Students here at UC. I should have introduced myself to start with. Um, and my team look after you sort of from the start of your journey right through to make sure you're well supported. So that's from when you put in your application um, through the admissions process with Zoe, or if you need some support while you're here, Katie's always available. Um, she, you can make, students can make an appointment with her. Um, and, and use that room. Um, we also have our youth workers who look after the students overnight, um, make sure everybody's well supported and well looked after. So um, thanks for joining us today and we really hope we get to see you here next year. All right, so now we're gonna show you through to our Woodland courtyard. So again, use our fog to get through here. And then we come out into our lovely Gibbon courtyard. So this is one of the main courtyards at University College. 
Um, usually on a sunny day, you'll find heaps of people out here studying, um, doing things like yoga and things like that. Usually we have a lot of big events out here as well. So we like meet here together before our commencement dinner and things like that. And it's a really, really lovely way for everyone at college to get together. So again, that's the Ellis Wing that we just came from, sweet. And then to the left of us, we have our Sign Heritage Wing as well. And yeah, we're just gonna head down towards the tutorial, tutorial rooms now and just show you guys those. So, and we're gonna have a bit of a chat to our Dean of Studies, Andre as well. And he's gonna talk about our tutorial program. Hello. Hi, Andre. How are you? Yeah, thank you. Hi, um, my name is Andre Lohana Pesci. I'm the Dean of Studies here at UC. Uh, I look after the academic support and the career and pathways program. I work closely with Mary, our librarian, and our team of resident tutors. So just to explain a little bit, our academic support program includes weekly uh, subject-based tutorials as well as one-on-one -on -one consultations. And that's supplemented by textbooks uh, provided by our library. Um, we also have a first year at UC mentoring program. So where our resident tutors are mentored to our first year at UC students as well as an alumni mentoring program uh, that's provided to our second and later year students. In addition to that, we run a couple of workshops like uh, how to write a good CV, how to make a good uh, LinkedIn profile, as well as how to apply for internships or graduate places. That's it for me. Thank you very much. Thanks, Andre. Thank you. See you. And we're just gonna have a little bit of a look into an example of what our tutorial rooms look like. So they're quite big spaces, lots of desks. Um, often they have whiteboards and things like that really good study spaces um, that people love to use as well. And also down to the left, if you go into the door at the end, we have our music rooms as well for the music students that want to play piano and things like that. Um, and so we're just going to head down here to our Greta Hort Library, um, which is also a very popular study room space, usually super warm during winter. So yeah, this is the library. We have two printers and copiers, heaps of desks, and we also usually have our librarian Mary in here who Andre mentioned that if you need to borrow any textbooks or anything like that um, you can get in contact with her very easily. So, yeah. All right so I think that is it from Lauren and myself um, but we're going to pass over to Camilla who's going to show her Sime 2 room and thank you. Thank you. So hi guys, I'm Camilla, I'm a first year here at UC and I'm studying Biomed at Deakin University and I'm from Ballarat in Rural Vic. Um, so here in the Heritage Rooms we have shared bathrooms which get cleaned three times a day so they're pretty nice and because of that we're pretty close if everyone in our corridors just because we see them a lot more and that. So here in Sim, we decided to decorate each other's uh, door and give each other nicknames. So this is my door and welcome to my room. So as you can see, um, the heritage rooms are quite large. Like honestly, this is bigger than my room at home. And we've got these nice big windows, which is really nice, especially in summer. Um, down here are the picnic tables where we like to chill out, study and eat meals. Typically you find people down there on a nice day. So when you arrive at UC, um, your room comes fully furnished with your bed, desk and bedside table. It also comes with this funky little lamp as well. And another big advantage of the heritage rooms is definitely storage, um, which I love because I have lots of clothes. So yeah, and yeah, so it's nice to bring a few like little touches from home to make your room feel more, like more cozy and homely. So yeah, this is a typical heritage room. And now I'm gonna send you up to the design room just above me to Ruby. So. Thanks guys. Hi everyone, I'm Ruby. Um, I'm a first year student at Victorian College of the Arts studying drawing and printmaking and I'm from Mildura, Victoria. So I'm in the design room today. This is sort of the artistic nucleus of the college. UC does take students from both UniMelb and RMIT. So we have lots of design students here. And this is sort of the spot you would come for any larger works um, that you wanted to do. There's also a computer here that has the full Adobe suite on it. So that's Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, um, Premiere. And then down the back, we have some screens, which people like to use for photo shoots and things. I believe there's also a green screen there. And yeah, the most handy thing about the design room definitely has to be these big benches. Super handy for those bigger projects. Um, and that's all for me. I'm going to pass you guys on over to Catherine and Ethan. 
Hey guys, um, I'm Ethan. I'm a first year here at UC and I'm studying mechanical engineering at RMIT. Um, and originally I'm from Sydney. So I'm going to be showing you around the gym and Leggett. Um, here we have our weights room, which is a fully furnished gym, you know, squat rack, um, Smith machines, some tables, and dumbbells, you know, basically everything you could really need. Um, we also have the cardio room just over here. So that's got, you know, your rowers, your treadmills. Um, electricals, different stuff like that. So no matter if you're training endurance or strength, you got everything you need. And if this isn't really your scene, you can go over to our multi-purpose court where you play basketball, tennis, and you'll get shown that later. Um, and again, if that's not what you want, they're right next to Pretty Park. So if you want to get on the grass playing AFL or whatever it is you want to play, um, that's really close, so it's great. Um, we're just gonna head down this way to Leggett, which is kind of a, study social space depending on what time of the day it is <laughs> and, and you know so these rooms are set up for study at the moment but we can kind of break down the walls and make this one massive area for people to hang out or bigger events um here we have a movie room which is a really great place to just kind of hang out with friends and you know watch different stuff and down here we also have a kitchen so this is our common kitchen, which everyone can kind of use if you're feeling like a change from the UC food, which is great anyway. Uh, but if you want to, I am. There's actually some people in here now, so it should get some hot. Hey guys. Uh, Hello. This is the kitchen. Sorry. Hi. Yeah. So <laughs> the kitchen's great. You know, you can cook everything you need if you want. You know. But you do have to get inducted in first, um, which is just a safety thing, but it's really easy. It'll take you like a day. No, not even like 15 <laughs> minutes, sorry. Uh, yeah, we also have these coffee machines, which are broken at the moment, but I'm sure they'll be up and running pretty soon. And you can access those at any time of the day. Um, anyway, so we're going to move on to the JCR and courtyard, and I'll pass it over to Castro. Hi everyone, I'm Catherine. I'm a first year student and I'm studying a Bachelor of Arts at Uni Melb and I'm originally from Perth. So I'm showing you the junior common room today. Hello. <laughs> this is Vic and Tony. Hey. Um, this is our junior common room. So we have two common rooms, one of which is here and one which is just across the courtyard. And it's a little bit empty at the moment because of COVID, but normally we have table tennis, pool, we've got lots of bean bags and everything set up. And it's a really amazing area to hang out with your friends. Everyone's always playing games in here, here at night, here during the day. So it's a really nice place to be, unfortunately. It's a little bit empty at the moment. Um, but I'll show you across to the courtyard, which you would have seen um, from Camilla's room in sign before she was pointing down. And as she said, it's such a nice place to sit when it's nice weather. Everyone's always out here um, eating their meals. People have drinks out here. We are always out here just hanging out. So we have sign to the left of me and then the Fraser buildings are on the right. So follow me and we'll go down. Um, so just through those doors is where the dining hall is. So it's really easy you to just bring your meals out everyone sits out here and that's pretty much it from us so i think we'll say goodbye um and we are passing you to gretel and lauren who are going to show you a little bit more thank you so much thank you see ya bye bye <laughs> hello my name is gretel hodge and i'm a first year science student at uni melbourne and i'm from barham new south wales Hi, I'm Jemima. I'm a first year student at UC and I'm also studying a Bachelor of Biomedicine at the University of Melbourne. Okay, sweet. So we're starting off in the kitchen garden. Sweet, so this is our kitchen garden. It's currently maintained by Ian, who's our awesome gardener. Um, a lot of our produce that we make here gets put into the food we eat in the kitchen, which is a really great um, source of sustainability. Um, we also have a lot of students that help participate in the maintenance of the garden. So we've got a sustainability crew who's currently headed by Alex. Um, and yeah, we have a harvest coming up later in the year. So we'll see when that happens. Yeah, so now I'm going to take you over here. So here we have our car park for UC and for additional fee, you can park your car here throughout the year. And over in the distance, we have the graduate apartments, which are reserved for first, first third years and graduate students. And then over in the distance, we have our multi-purpose court. 
which is great for pretty much any sport. And there's a few events that held there, especially in O Week. And so now we're going to enter the sweet building. Hey, Vic. Um, <laughs> so the sweet building has, is fit with many utility rooms on every floor. There's at least three. So here's a standard one. It has coin operated um, dryers and washing machines, a couple of sinks, microwaves, fridge and freezer. And they're for anyone to use um, to store their things or wash their clothes or pretty much whatever you need it to be. Um, so now we're just going to take you through to a standard um, suite room. All of them are furnished with a double bed and an ensuite. And yeah, so we're just going to knock on, see if we can see. Hey guys. Hey, Vic. <laughs> this is my room. Um, this is basically a suite one, like pretty standard size room. Um, you can do a little, you know, of your own Hair decorations room. and stuff. Yeah. Um, we've got like double glazed windows, which is really great. And an ensuite, which is super helpful here. Yeah. Um, yeah, <laughs> shower. Um, and then the wardrobe and you've got your own sink as well. Um, so all around, pretty good space and you can really make it your own as well, which is really nice. Cool. All right. See you, Vic. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So now we're going to take you through to the dining room, um, which is one of our, like, the main eating area at college. And yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So, so this is the entrance to the dining hall. This is where you eat your meals throughout the day. Um, it's a little different at the moment because of COVID. So there's a reduced capacity. And we also now get served in the rural room instead of the kitchen. Um, but it's a really great place to hang out. There's food throughout the day, so you can also study in here and just sort of chill out. And you make a lot of new friends in here during a week. It's probably the main place I met all of my friends this year, which has been amazing. So yeah, is anything cool. else you need to touch on? Um, yeah, so we also have late dinners and takeaway lunches if that is your, if that's what you need on that day. So they're really handy. Um, yeah. yeah, and we also do a couple of events here during the year. Normally, or we normally do. We don't do it them at the moment, but you yeah. can do like valedictory dinners here and our commencement dinner, and we also do our soiree here in first sem. Yeah. So now we're going to take you through to the senior common room, which, um, <laughs> which is this way, <laughs> um, and going to introduce you to Lucy. Hey, oh, sorry, just flip you around. My bad. Oh, hey, good. Thanks. How are you? I'm good. Um... I mean, I'll introduce myself. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> I'm the team's common room president this year. I'm one of the residents at college, um, which means that we give shoots to all of the students every week, mostly first year students. Um, but we also are around for academic mentoring, all sorts of stuff like that. Um, I'm the math tutor, so you can see right now I'm actually <laughs> yeah. preparing the calculus for Monday. So um, yeah, that's what I get to do for you. But yeah, the tutors are around with kind of um, you know, most of us are graduate students, so we're a little bit older, but we're still students. Um, we're here to kind of have chat to have questions about graduate study and that sort of thing and get involved at our tables and all sorts of stuff. Like that. Cool. So, thank you. Thanks. <laughs> thank you. Um, yeah, so here's the rest of the senior common room. Um, this is mostly for RTs and graduate students. Um, cool. Okay. Hi. See y'all. <laughs> okay, so hello. <laughs> Now we're gonna take you into the senior common room, which is a great space to hang out. Hey guys. <laughs> um, so there's an area for study at the back and then there's couches and bean bags and a great TV, which is um, equipped with pretty much any streaming service you want. Um, it's really great to watch, watch the footy or whatever you wanna watch. And yeah, it's a great place to hang out. So oh, sweet, we'll throw to Gus. Yeah, then. so now we're gonna hand over to Gus. That's it from us. Um, Thanks. See ya. Bye. Hi everyone, um, I'm Angus, I'm a first year science student at Melbourne and I am giving you a little look at my room. So I'm up in a row of four which is on the fourth floor at UC and these rooms are a little bit different, they're basically the same as what Victoria showed you, they're a little bit bigger. Um, I like Vic have a nice little ensuite which is super handy to have at college. Um, double bed as well. And as you can see, we have a skylight in these rooms. So these are really good. Early in the morning when it's a nice sunny day, not like today, um, there's a lot of light in these rooms and it gets really warm. Um, yeah, and as you can see, there's a lot of desk space, um, big basin, 
plenty of cupboards. And the good part about these rooms is they also have an extra storage unit. So on the fourth floor at UC, all of our rooms are fitted with lots. So I will take you up there. So if we're looking from down here, whoops. From down here, there's obviously another space up there. Turn the light on. And we can go up here. Um, I use this space just to hang my clothes. I've also got a little drying drying rack up here. I've got a little music set up up here. But really, you can use it for anything. It's basically another room. As you can see, there's heaps of space up here. And you can store all your stuff as well. So you don't have to worry about bringing too much stuff if you've got one of these rooms. And yeah, as you can see, we can see my room down there. Plenty of space. There's heaps of space down there and plenty of... Yeah, plenty of stuff to do with your rooms up here. Um, so yeah, that's the that's basically it for the tour. I hope everyone's enjoyed enjoyed it.